أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. So we're learning Ayatul Kursi. So this is from the Azkar that we are supposed to do after we finish the prayer. So we have done most of it now. So inshallah we will uh, revise it quickly and then we will try to finish it in uh, in today's lesson. Inshallah. Okay. Uh, we will go for a running translation first. And then we uh, do some part of some questioning probably that will be better. So um, is is Hiba with us? Uh, yes, Malikum Salam Hiba. Hiba, can you do um, start the running translation? Uh, okay, uh, Allah, there's absolutely no God other than He, the ever living, the sustainer, uh, a sleep. Uh, Slumber uh, does not overtake him, nor does sleep. What is slumber? Uh, like when you're about to fall asleep, but you're not fully asleep yet. Yeah, you're starting yawning, you are lazy, but you are not really sleeping. Okay, okay, good. Uh, for him, uh, for him is what is in the skies and whatever is in the earth. Um, who... Who is the one? Uh, who is the one? Okay, so Yashfal, huh? That's where the problem is. Anybody knows Yashfal? Raise your hand. Daniel, Yashfal. Yashfal means he intercedes. What's the chapter, Daniel? All right. Thank you, Daniel, for your help. Hiba, continue. Who is the one who intercedes near him except with uh, his permission? So what does intercede mean in uh, plain English? To like, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, if somebody's in trouble and somebody says, okay, please let him go. Hmm? Yeah, someone who like... Don't be harsh to him, please. That is interceding. Like in... Injecting yourself in something and try to maybe help out someone. You know? Okay. So, can you do this again? Manzal Lazi? Uh, who is the one who intercedes uh, near him except with his permission? Or you can say will intercede. Hmm? Will intercede near him or in his presence except with his permission. Okay. Keep going. Uh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, oh, he knows what uh, is in front of him and what is behind him. Him? Oh, behind them. In front of them and behind them. Behind them means people, everybody. Okay. Okay. In front of them, like the deeds they're going to do and what is behind them, what they have already done. Okay. Make sense? Yeah, okay. okay. And not uh, you. Okay, I give you the word. Ahata. And not and not they comprehended. Uh, Comprehend what? Anything. Yeah, a thing. A thing. Uh, what from? Sorry, min mm -hmm. from. Erlman, a knowledge. Uh, his law mm -hmm. except uh with what he with what he wills yeah and do they do not comprehend meaning people don't comprehend people don't understand ahata yuhitu yuhitu now this is the second word in the mudari call inshallah this is the next chapter you will be learning in level 3 and they do not comprehend meaning they don't understand a thing this B comes with ahata. So, this is a partner of ahata yuhitu yuhituna. So, we don't need to translate this partner. It will not make good sense in English, you know. And they do not comprehend with a thing. No, that doesn't make sense. So, they don't comprehend a thing from his knowledge except what he willed. So, even this, this B here, this comes with ilm. 
or any variation of that, you know. So we don't have to even translate this B either because it's a partner of ilm. All right, good. Uh, a couple of questions. Aid, what was the meaning of Aid him? Um, Aid means. Okay, what's Aid him? Oh, Total. their hands. Their hands. That's the literal meaning, right? Their hands. Translated. What is I one hand? Uh, yada. Yada. It's it's there. It's in the on the slide. Yadun. Yadun. Okay. Yadun is one hand. Yadun is one hand. What is two hands? Aiden. No. That's plural. When say we say plural, plural means more than Ashadani. No, listen, listen. In Arabic, what is plural? Is uh, it more than two? More than two, right? So Aydin means hands, more than two hands. But when I ask you about two hands, what will be the Arabic for that? Yadani. Very good. Yadani or Ya? Yadani. Yadaini. Yadani or Yadaini. So this Aydihim is actually Aydin. Aydin. And when it becomes a mudaf, it becomes Aydi. Okay. Okay. ID, ID him, dear hands. So ma baina ID him, what does it literally mean? Um, or baina ID him? A baina. Baina means? Between. Yeah. Between their? Hands, like the space in between the hands that's in front of them. So you have your ex hands extended in front of you. With the arms extended, the area between your hands is the area which is in front of you. So this is how Arabs speak, you know. When they have to say in front of them, they say Baina ID. But saying that literally in English will not make sense to the English speaking people, right? So that's why we have to say in front of them. Make sense? Yes. Yeah. All right. Good. So let's uh, continue. Thank you, Hiba. You did a good job. Um, now we learn the remaining part of this. Um, ah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we have Musab with us. Musab Iqbal. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum. Slow down. Hmm? First thing, slow down a bit. So read it again. First word. No, no. Wa is not the first word. Wasia is one word. Wasia means he was extended. Course you who is a uh, throne, course you is thrown a samawati, the skies, wa and al earth, the earth, the earth, wa okay. and combine, 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 okay. and, his, and his throne was extended, uh, and the skies, the skies and the earth. You can say over the skies and the earth. Okay. Over is not in here, the word, but Arabic doesn't need that word, over, okay? Oh. But in English, we have to say over. Okay, what's what's the word, what's the meaning of the word wasi again? He was extended. What's the inside door? He. He. When he is the inside door, what we need to do? Uh, look for the outside door. Did you look? Uh, yeah, it's Kursi Yuhu. Kursi Yuhu. How did you know that it is the outside door? Uh, because it is in a Rafa status. How did you know it is a Rafa status? Uh, because it is... Hmm? It is... Kursi Yuhu. 
yeah it is kursi you that's a word yeah but how did you what did you which what thing in this word told you it is in rafa status you understand my oh, question oh this is mudaf mudaf ilayhi because the dash pronoun and this is um and mudaf is rafa very good good job that's the answer kursi you who means his kursi it's like kitabu who dinu who hmm that's right It's a mudaf mudaf ilay, and when we have to find out what is the status of mudaf mudaf ilay, what we look at status of mudaf mudaf. So which dhamma is determining the status of kursi yuhu? First one or second one? First one. First one. First one. So this dhamma on ya is telling us that it is in rafa status, and that is why. It is the outside door. What does the outside door do? What's up? Uh, it replaces the he in. It replaces like in this wasia he was extended. It replaces the he with the outside door. So his the his throne was extended. Yeah. So it will take the place of the inside door, and inside door has to go away. Okay. Can you give the translation again? Okay. Uh, word by word, or running. Without Arabic, just English. Okay, and uh, he and his throne was extended over the skies and the earth. You said and his throne. Oh, sorry. Where is the and here? There is no and. It's uh, his throne was extended over the skies and the earth. Yeah, wasia. This wow is doesn't mean and. Yeah. It is part of the word wasia. It's one word, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. His kursi, his throne. We we actually could see you. There are many opinions about it. What it really means, it's not really clear. But for the there's a good number of people who say it means throne. So let's go with that. His throne was extended over the skies and the earth. What does it mean? It is not extended now. Musa, uh, it's it is still extended, right? Yeah. So. In Arabic, when something has, they have to say something which applies to Madi, present, any past, present, and future. They use the past tense for it. But in Urdu, sorry, in uh, in English, we use the present tense. So we can say, his throne is extended over the skies and the earth. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good job, Musab. Thank you. Okay, next part. Uh, Dania. Yes. Read it. ولا يؤده حبهما هو العلي العظيم و and لا not يؤده um يؤده is it from Ada? Ada. Okay, good. What does Ada mean? Um, Ada means he. I don't remember. Don't remember. Okay, at least you can tell me what chapter this belongs to. Okay. Um, Ada yaudu kama yakumu. Ada yaudu kama yakumu. So, what's the chapter name then? Bab Abu Jo. Bab Ajwa. Bab Ajwaf. All right. So I give you the word now. Wait a minute. Ada means he burdened. Okay. Yeah. He burdened or he made made somebody tired. Yeah, he burdened. Okay, let's do it. So uh, Yaud means. Yaudu means he burdens or he will burden. Who? Uh, who? Uh, what? Yaudu. There's a who there. What? Yeah, Okay. Uh, have, uh, does hifz mean protection? Hifz means what? Protection. Protection. Okay. Uh, protection. Huma them both. Prote hifz huma means protection of them both. Okay. What kind of fragment is this? Hifz huma. Ah, mudaf mudaf yeh. How do you know? Um. Uh. Because uh, attach pronouns. Uh, they're mudaf mudaf yeh. A pronoun attached to an ism is in that case only it is mudaf mudafili. Oh, oh. Because the pronoun could also be attached to a harf or to a fail. 
in those cases it is not mudaf mudafil okay so, hifz is what's the first word for hifz uh hafiza yahfazu yahfazu hafiza yahfazu what's the chapter um sami'a yasma'u okay and what is hifz uh hifz uh, to protect so it is the what are you saying madi mudari what is it masdar sorry masdar okay so a masdar is an ism isn't it yes and we have a situation here huma which is attached pronoun and it is attached to an ism and that is why it is mudaf mudaf ilay okay combine it and not he burdens and not protection of them both burdens him okay what's the inside of yahudu a he he and what did you do after that you started looking for the outside door can who be the outside door this who uh no why um because it's not an ism who is an ism uh, pronoun pronouns are ism oh Do you know or you don't know? I know. I don't know. No. Okay. Stay with me. Anybody who knows why this who cannot be the outside door? Tanjin. I don't really know. It's just wanted to raise you know? my hand for something. Abdullah. Um, I think because uh, who um, uh, who cannot be at the outside door because the Udu is already the outside door. No, that's not the right answer. Brother Taimur. Uh, it's a pronoun attached to a verb. Mm -hmm. So it it's uh, it becomes the subject, and it's always uh, not in nasb status. It is always in nasb status, right? Whenever, whenever a pronoun is attached to a verb, which is the case here, yaudu is a verb. Who is attached to it? In that case, that pronoun is always, always in nasab status. Okay, Daniel. Okay. So who cannot be the outside door because it is in what status? Nasab. Sorry. Nasab. Nasab. Okay. Now you combine it. Okay. Not protection of them both burdens him. Burdens him. Yeah. Good. And this hifzuhuma is the outside door. Why? Uh, because uh, hifzu is uh, after the verb and it's also in rafa sense. So this dhamma, right? Yeah. This dhamma is telling us it is in rafa status because this is mudaf mudafilei. And in case uh -huh. of mudaf mudafilei, the mudaf is what tells us what the status is. If the mudaf is rafa, then the whole mudaf mudafilei is in rafa status. What's the status of huma here? Uh. Uh, huma is a uh, jar, but in the in uh, in the whole in the whole fragment is nasab. Yeah. So the, just talking about huma only. Yes, what you mean? Jar status because. Uh, because um, attached pronouns connect to an ism is uh, always majrur. It's mudafilay. In mudafilay, no. Mudafilay is always. Majrur. Yeah, in jar status. Good. Thank you, Daniel. Okay, Tanjeen, finish it. All right. Hey, what and what he Aliyum exalted Azim Al Azim Al Azim the bigger. No. Okay. What's the first word for Azim? Uh, Azama. No. Hey. Azuma. We should know Azuma. this. Azuma, you Azim, you Azim. No, you are not saying this right. Karuma, Karuma, yeah, ya Karumu, Azuma, ya Azum, ya Azumu, and Azim is what comes at the place of Ismul Fa'il. Karuma ya Karumu, Karim, Azuma ya Azumu, Azimun. Yeah, Azim means the one who is the one's great. Yeah, yeah. Ali Yunis from Ala Yalu. Da. Yadu Bab Nakis and Aliyun is the one who is exalted. It's Musifa. Okay, combine it. So, so uh, right. 
and, and a lot and he is, a liar. is the sorry and he is the one who is exalted the one who is great always great always great like rahim kareem huh azim always great okay thank you his kursi is extended over the skies and the earth and the protection of both of them meaning skies and the earth the protection of both of them does not burden him it's easy thing for him it is not a difficult task for him it doesn't burden him it doesn't burden allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he is always exalted always great let's go to a breakout room